Ireland is one of the most stable and established countries in which to do business in the world. A country that is politically stable, that's democratic, that engages in business in a way that is understandable to companies. So there's a really developed rule of law and there's protection of property rights. We saw just recently in the 2015 budget where there's a really interesting knowledge box proposal from the government which will continue to put Ireland ahead of its competitors in terms of having innovative tax structures for foreign companies that are looking at Ireland. And the most recent set of tax initiatives, like some of their predecessors, are designed very much at cutting-edge companies, technology, pharma and biotechnology companies. Ireland has a really interesting ecosystem. Companies that invest in Ireland can deploy and grow really fast. First, we have a really effective workforce that understand technology, that understand a lot of the cutting-edge industries that are looking at Ireland. And secondly, we have a really effective professional services ecosystem in Ireland. And when I say professional services, we're talking about the accountants, lawyers, and lots of other service providers that understand the requirements of foreign companies and that understand that they require not just excellent advice, but also because of the lack of confidence they often have initially when they come to both a new country and often a new continent, they need really high rates of responsiveness. And again, that's what Irish professional services organisations are very adept at providing. In recent years, what we've seen is a phenomenon where we have what we call a clustering effect across certain segments of industry. And essentially, this arises where a couple of leading companies in a particular type of technology decide to invest in Ireland. And because of the successes they experience, their competitors then look to Ireland and they look to the success they experience and then they also tend to follow. Um, this creates a clustering effect where you'll have a number of the world's leading companies in specific areas of internet services or biotechnology or pharma coming to Ireland. And in turn, Ireland has served uh, those companies extremely well by building up real experience and expertise in supporting those specific segments. Ireland has an established reputation as a hub for aircraft leasing. There's an established professional infrastructure. It's a known entity. Uh, the funds industry is another industry where Ireland has um, a developed infrastructure, including a developed legal infrastructure, which facilitates the establishment of investment funds. And also then, for other financial services structuring transactions, there can be technical reasons why Ireland is appropriate. And again, you have the benefit of the established professional infrastructure in Ireland, which makes Ireland an attractive location in which to do business, either by establishment are simply structuring your transactions to have an Irish component. You have an educated country, you have a favourable tax climate, and you have a country which is well integrated, both worldwide and particularly in the EU. So it makes sense to use Ireland as a, a platform in that regard.